Hi everybody. We're here today with Garrett Harris, who is um, a Nashvilleian. He's originally from Las Vegas. He is a singer, songwriter, entertainer, and a performer. A man of many hats. So uh, we're going to talk to Garrett today, get a little information about him and what it's like to be in Nashville and be in the music business. So uh, Garrett, thanks for joining us. Good to be here. All right. So tell me, he's been in Nashville for a few years. Yeah. Been about eight exactly. Okay. <laughs> what, what's it like? What's it like to be a performer, an entertainer, singer, songwriter in Nashville? Well, it's been a uh, it's been a bit of an, od of an odyssey, but uh, uh, it's been a, a worthwhile one. It's been it's been a lot of ups and downs and struggles and some joy and some pain and some more pain. <laughs> Living the dream, sometimes living the dream, sometimes living the joke, <laughs> and uh, everything in between. But it's been—I wouldn't trade it for anything. It's uh, definitely been the uh, the journey of a lifetime so far, and we'll see where it goes. Now, do you feel like living those experiences, the the, the roller coaster, if you will? Do you feel like that's that leads to those songs that? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean. I think this is the town that put heartbreak on the map, I believe, and uh, certainly have had my share of that while I've been here. And uh, of course, you you write about heartbreak, and you write about uh, struggles, and you write about working man. You, you definitely draw from your 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 own life, but you want to make sure, and uh, you want to make sure that you're you're writing about things that are a little more real. For, for that other people can relate to, and not just musicians and s singers and songwriters. So now, when it comes to your music and your songwriting, you you steer a little more towards a Western theme. I do, and I, I've uh, I've run up a, a, against a fair amount of resistance when it comes to that uh, making that kind of music, because uh, um, Nashville tends to embrace. Uh, if they're going to embrace a region of the country at all, it's going to be the South and the Southeast and and that way of life. And of course, that's not where I grew up. I grew up out west, so I tend to write about about the things that I know. And it's all about people, it, no, no matter where you go. So Western is just where I'm coming from. <laughs> so, well, you're from Nevada. Originally. Yeah. I am. I am. I, I was born and raised in Las Vegas, which is a whole other story because most people, when they think of Las Vegas, they think of a very different thing than what I think of when I think of growing up there. So, speaking of Las Vegas, we'll stay on that for a few minutes. The um, you were just out there recently. Um, was so you were out there to visit family, but also to um, that little songwriting uh, odyssey. Yeah, a retreat, so yeah. to speak. Yeah, I uh, I uh, took a tent and some and a, and a four wheel drive truck and made that my songwriting room for, uh, under the stars and under the sun and for about three weeks I'd go I'd spend about three or four days in each place and, and uh, just be completely alone in some some situations a lot most of the time and uh, just kind of get lost in my own thoughts and write some songs by myself, which is very different than, than the norm in Nashville. The norm is to, in fact, it's most commonplace to, to do what's called co-write, where you write a song with, with another person or two. And that's the norm in Nashville. So to go out and just be relying completely on yourself to write a song is something that you don't get a chance to do very often in the Nashville scene, so to speak. So I needed that. <laughs> So, any um, any inspiration from there, from from that that setting? Because I mean, that's a pretty amazing writing room, if you will. Yeah, I'd say um, if I was, I would say that the inspiration that I got from that was in not worrying worrying about what anybody else, whether anybody else cared about what I was getting ready to to say in my songs. In other words, it inspired me to just completely be myself and and and, and it, it made for a more honest song 